Hello Cubers around the world, welcome to Do Wisdom. This time around I'm here to teach you guys how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the Friedrich method and quite frankly guys, it's a really awesome technique. Now, this is going to be divided into four parts and this is the first part out of them. In this part I'm going to teach you how to make the cross in a quicker manner. So, let's get right to it. So, if you know the beginner's method then you might know that when you have to make the cross, suppose that you have to make a cross on the white side, you first turn your Rubik's Cube upside down so that you are now facing the yellow side and make the cross over there that means all the white pieces or well, the white edge pieces of the cube should be aligned on the edges of the yellow side of the cube now in this example we see that already there is one white piece in the right place now it can just be a coincidence that it is already also aligned but in the beginner's method it isn't really required for it to be aligned or not so um, all we do in the beginner's method is just look at all the edge pieces that we have to look at for example here is one here is one and uh, I just saw yeah here is one so all of these edge pieces are to be aligned at these three places that you see over here so all we do is just place this one so that's one but now you notice this is not really aligned but we don't give a shit about that so only these two are left so we just put them as well we and just turn it and then this one too so now we have made the cross this is what you've learned in the beginners method now um, as you see this pieces these pieces are aligned but these are not but because this is a beginners method all we have to do is first put down all the aligned pieces for example these both are aligned so we just twist them and bring them down to the white side we do the same thing for the blue side as well but in case of this, which is not properly aligned, we first align it with the green side of the cube and then we bring it down to the white side. Uh, in this case, it's orange, so we first search for the orange side and then we put it together and then we rotate it. So that's how the cross is made in the beginner's method. Now, this is known as the beginner's method for a reason. This is the beginner's method because this is for the people who have just started learning the Rubik's Cube. That is, they're not too familiar with how the Rubik's Cube actually functions. So for those kind of people I think this is pretty much the right thing for the people who are not actually looking for the speed in the Rubik's Cube. Now if you want to solve the Rubik's Cube faster the basic thing should be to make the cross a bit quicker and for that this method of solving the cross technically sucks. So in order to make a cross a bit more faster all we need to do is first scramble the cube. that all the pieces have been scrambled again one is here one is one is here one is here and uh, the other is here um, yeah yeah right so uh, now we need to fix all the pieces over here but this time around we don't need to turn it around to the yellow side of the cube of course this is an advanced method that means it is level 2 of what you have learned before so what you have to do is first you have to uh, take a look at the color scheme of your cube now this might not be the same for every cube the one cube in my hand has the official color scheme of uh, you know the general Rubik's Cube that I used even in the tournaments uh, for example when I hold the Rubik's Cube like this for example usually I hold the cube like this with the blue facing to my side and the white on top and the yellow on bottom so I don't need to look at uh, so I don't need to look at any other side of the cube because I already know that if blue is in front of me then green has to be at the opposite direction like there then red has to be at the left direction and orange has to be on the right side right over there so now that I already know where which color is I'm going to put the pieces on the white side and I'm going to align them at the same time that means that I'm gonna put the pieces on the white side of the cube that is the edge pieces white colored edge pieces on the white side of the cube and I'm going to align them on the same time so that saves time I don't have to twist and turn the cube all over again so now what we do is first we take a look at where all the edge pieces are so this comes in the observation time so first I take a look these are the two edge pieces that I see in front of me this is another one and this is another one so one two three and four I've already set my eyes on them now all I need to do is set them in place in this example I'm gonna teach you according to the blue side because I started off with that so here's the blue 
blue and white edge piece. So all you need to do is bring it to the white side. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. That's this is the first thing that you have to take care of. The blue piece, the blue and white edge piece should be on the white side of the queue. Now, as I discussed before, you already know that uh, if you are facing the blue side of the cube, then green is at the opposite direction with red at its left and uh, uh, orange at its right. So that's what we are going to do right now. You know these are the other edge pieces of the cube. Now you take any piece after that. Suppose you have taken the green piece right over here, the green and white edge piece right over here. You have already placed the blue and white piece, edge piece on the white side of the cube. Now all you need to do is put this piece opposite to the blue and white piece because that is how it is aligned in the cube. The cube is designed in the way that the green, piece, the green side of the cube is opposite to the blue side. So we're going to do the same thing. If blue is over here, right over here, then green should be over here. That should be obvious. So if the green and white piece, edge piece is over here, we need to place it over here. How do we do that? We just bring it to this side and we push it over there. We don't need to move, make another move because then we'll have to waste another move to bring it back to its place or you know just align it right over here so that it is aligned as well but we don't need to do that right now they can do that in one single sweep that I'm going to teach you afterwards I'm gonna to get to that so right now the cube was in this place this position let it be over here we already know that green has been set up and blue has been set up the only two pieces that are left are the red and the orange pieces which are here and uh, here respectively so for the orange piece it's pretty simple as we know that it's a really easy one to put because orange directly can be placed on the white side like that but that would make the blue edge piece that we have placed to go in place of the orange one we don't want that so for that not to happen first we have to move this out of the way as we know that orange is on the right side of the blue so all we need to do is uh, rotate the cube like that and now if we do the same thing that we just did previously you see that this has been set up just like we discussed blue is opposite to green and has orange on its right the same picture is being formed right over here we have already put blue and white edge piece to whose right is orange and white white edge piece white edge piece and on whose opposite direction is green and white edge piece so the only piece left is this the white and red edge piece which goes here of course because that's the only place it has to go so we simply rotate it and place it this has made the cross but you might say that these are not aligned well as I said you don't need to waste your time on aligning each and every piece again and again because you can just do that in one single sweep now you can see every piece is aligned in its respective position right now now that you know this process let's do it a bit quicker so that you know it's a bit easier for you to understand it this time okay so now that you have properly scrambled the cube we'll first look at all the white and colored edge pieces now I see right over here one that's the green and white edge piece the second is over here red and white edge piece the third is over here orange and white edge piece and the last one blue and white is right over here at the bottom look at this the white and this is at the bottom so when you place one by one each edge piece on the top so as I said you can start with any other color but if you choose one color for example I've chosen blue it becomes a bit faster for you to you know stir up the things some people of course I'm gonna take a different color right now because this one is the easiest to come at the top so we just simply place it in its place now I know that orange is opposite to red I know that blue is at the right side of the red and I know that green is at the left side of the red yes that's how it is blue is at the right side of the red green is at the red, left side of the red and orange is opposite in the, to the direction of the red now first we look at the easy to place uh, pieces this one will take up some moves to place so we are not gonna use uh, so we're not gonna 
put this piece first. The other pieces are this. This actually might take some more time. But this one is a very easy piece because we just have to rotate it like that. So that's what we do. We simply rotate it 180 degrees and it's right in its place where it's supposed to go. Now the next pieces are the more difficult pieces that might require two to three moves. So we are going to place them now. Now that I know that red goes over here, blue goes over here, I know that green is in the right position. It's only inverted. That means that the white piece had to come here and the green color had to come here. So it is just not aligned properly. It's in the right position. What to do about that? Well, it's pretty simple actually. All you need to do is bring it down, twist it, bring it back up. Now the only thing that is left is to place the orange piece that is over here, orange and white edge piece, in its place that comes to the right side of the blue and white edge piece. So we first shift, we first uh, you know, turn the top layer because if we don't turn it then when we try to put it on the top then this might actually get messed up. But we don't want that. So first we bring it to the free slot, then we turn it a bit, then we turn it again and then we place it. Now that we have the cross formed, even if the alignments are not you know, in the correct position right now, you know that they are actually aligned correctly. You only need to twist it once and that is booyah. As you can see, it was comparatively very quicker than the beginner method that you have been taught before. You might have been taught before. Now, um, I think that when you are trying to use the F uh, Frederick method to solve the Rubik's Cube or you want to solve the Rubik's Cube a bit more faster, then this is the process that you should use to solve the Rubik's Cube because this saves a lot of time if you go to make the cross because making the cross is definitely one of the most es essential steps for you to solve the Rubik's Cube. And uh, I think you should practice not only on all the algorithms, not only on everything else that you do while solving the Rubik's Cube, but also you should give some time to this because in the end, this is actually, you know, very, really, very useful in the process of solving the Rubik's Cube because if you can master this, then it might actually save five to six seconds of your total time that you take up in solving the Rubik's Cube. So yeah, now that I've explained you how to make the cross, I hope that you will try it, you will practice. I mean, just practice, 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 and it definitely will make it faster. Don't think that if, you know, Felix can do it in about five seconds, you cannot because believe me, if they can do it, you can too. You might be actually the rising star who can do it in 4 seconds. So as always guys, thanks for staying till the end of the video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please click that subscribe button and give that like button a click. And also check out my next video the next week, which is going to be about how to solve the first two layers of the Rubik's Cube, that is F2L using the Frederick method. So don't forget to check that out and stay tuned.